Praying with St. Francis Xavier, the Novena of Grace, Day 4 From a letter to the Jesuits of Europe, from Amboina in India, the 10th of May, 1546 I have decided to go to the Moro Islands to assist the Christians in spiritual matters exposing myself to every danger of death, placing all my confidence and hope in God our Lord, 
desiring to conform myself, in keeping with my slight and feeble strength, to the saying of Christ our Redeemer and Lord, that whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What activities, pastimes, possessions and relationships in my life are non-negotiable? Do any of these things get in the way of my relationship with God? What do I need to relinquish to be free to be my true self in following God's calling? Lord, before I ever came into being, you knew me and loved me. You have knit me together the way I am and given me life and laughter, friends and the faces of kind strangers and a world of wonder and new discovery. Grant me the freedom and the courage to discover you anew each day in the people I meet, in the places I go, in the sounds I hear and the things I see. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Novena Prayer O most kind and loving saint, in union with you I adore the most divine majesty. The memory of the favours with which God blessed you during life and of your glory after death fills me with joy, and I unite with you in offering to him my humble tribute of thanksgiving and praise. I implore of you to secure for me, through your powerful intercession, the all-important blessing of living and dying in a state of grace. I also ask you to obtain the favour I ask in this novena. But if what I ask is not for the greater glory of God or the good of my soul, obtain for me what is most conducive to both. Amen. O God, who was pleased to gather to your church the peoples of the East by the preaching and miracles of St. Francis Xavier, mercifully grant that we who honour his glorious merits may also imitate the example of his virtues. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.